this video, I will be making a refreshing and delicious thirst quenching cucumber water, also known as agua de pepino. This, you guys, is delicious and super easy. But first I wanted to take a moment to say hi, welcome, welcome to my channel. My name is Patty and I'm so happy you're here. I'm so happy you happened upon my channel and I hope you decide to subscribe. Okay, let's dig into this video. Okay, you guys, this is really super simple. You really don't, I mean, the recipe is according to your taste. Here I'm just showing you the few kitchen tools that I happen to have and these are the things I'll be using to make this really simple recipe. For one pitcher, which that's the pitcher, that glass picture back behind that knife. <laughs> uh, for one pitcher, I'm gonna be using one cucumber. It's a large cucumber, peeled. And, um, and then you, I'm gonna throw in some sugar to taste. That can also be omitted. You could put more sugar than I'm going to actually put in my recipe. I like just a slight, I like to put a little bit of sugar to kind of bring out the natural sweetener of the, is this a vegetable? A cucumber? Oh my God, you guys. <laughs> Here. <laughs> oh my goodness. If it's a vegetable or a, it's not a fruit, I guess it is a vegetable. So here I am just chopping off the tips of the cucumber after I had already washed it. I washed it really thoroughly like you're supposed to do with all, all your fruits and vegetables. So I um, just cut off the tips and then I'm going to use that peeler which I, I guess it's known as a potato peeler but I'm going to use this. It, it just makes it really easy as you can see here. Just simple slice. go that's what it's supposed to look like and then I'm just simply slicing thin slices or I'm thinly slicing the cucumber because I'm gonna eventually put it into a blender and with that blender I don't want it to work too hard I mean you could chunk it up if you want if you have a pretty strong blender I do have a pretty strong blender but I just like to make everything easy on all my little kitchen gadgets so there it is I'm also going to add water into the pitcher as you can see right there it's almost like halfway purified water of course and that's all that you're gonna do with this part. After you slice it, you just put it, um, the cucumber slices into the water and there I am slicing up the rest of the cucumber. I always work really slowly when it comes to work dealing with big knives, you guys. I'm naturally a klutz, so. I like to be super careful around knives. And of course I had to use the biggest one in my kitchen. <laughs> and there I am, I'm just finishing up the slicing. And then at this point, this is where I add my sugar. I didn't even put barely about a half a cup of sugar into the water. And then I'm getting ready. You can see the sugar settle down at the bottom of the blender container in there. I'm gonna hold my lid and let it rip. I, it doesn't take long, just a couple of, not even a full minute to pulverize it or liquid, liquidify it if I'm even pronouncing it correctly. And there you go, that's what it's supposed to look like at this point. And then I'm gonna get my pitcher here in a second, and which also has about half purified water in it, as you can see there. And then at this point, you can do what I'm doing here. I'm straining the pulp out. Some people prefer the pulp. 
Sometimes I do prefer the pulp, but for this video I decided to strain it out of the pitcher. It's really simple to do, as you can see right here. And then, as you can see me wibble wobble there with that, I'm reaching behind me into the utensil drawer without really looking into the utensil drawer. I'm trying not to spill that on the counter. I was actually looking for a spoon, but as you can see, I pulled the big serving fork out. But that's just to kind of squeeze through the pulp. And then here, I'm going to slice my lime this as well you guys this you can add if you choose to i always prefer to put that in because for some reason whether it's lemon or lime i don't know about you but it quenches my thirst it's super hot right now this is like a favorite summer drink that i like to make for the family and they just love it because it is thirst quenching and it just feels i mean you're drinking something something healthy rather than soda or you know any of those sugary drinks that we're not supposed to be drinking so like i said this is to taste so a total of my video in my recipe i mean i used one large cucumber one lime and less than a half a cup of sugar that was my preference to taste in here i'm just Stirring it all together. For me, this is exactly like the way I like this flavor. And you know what? I'll go ahead and I'll I'll list the recipe down in the comment section. And then you just get a tall glass of ice, you guys. And you know, if you want to get fancy schmancy with it, you can um, slice up a little lemon lime. I threw a straw. A paper straw, I love those paper straws. I get them from the Dollar Tree all the time. And there you go, voila. A refreshing, healthy summer drink, you guys. This is a family favorite. Okay, you guys, if you give this recipe a try, I hope you come back and let me know, give me some feedback on it. I perf I really love it because it is thirst quenching and you can control all your ingredients so i hope you enjoyed this video thank you so much please subscribe for updates so you don't miss any of my upcoming videos don't forget to hit that little bell so that it'll they'll notify you when i do upload something new and i'm so so happy that you stuck around to watch this video please give me a thumbs up as it helps my channel and we will see you next time.